Besides the brightness of your image, keeping your main subject in focus is the second big factor for quality images. Especially beginners often use the full auto mode of a camera, not knowing that you can actually choose what your camera focuses on rather than letting the camera decide. That can lead to the camera focusing on the background rather than on your subject. So let's start this chapter by placing the focus point where we want it to be. With many cameras, you usually have to leave full auto mode first. Since I'm sure you've already watched chapter two of our course, you will use either shutter priority or aperture priority. Now you're able to choose the focus point. Some cameras have a dedicated joystick to choose the appropriate focus point, while you have to go into the menu of other cameras to do the same. So please refer to your manual. What also varies from camera to camera is the number of focus points you can choose from. Older models and entry-level cameras often have nine focus points, while newer and more advanced have up to 5,600. Does that make a difference? Yes, it does. Do you really need 5,600 focus points? Not really. The biggest disadvantage of having less focus points is that they are grouped around the center of the frame. So if you want to focus on a subject that is outside the center, you're out of luck and you need to recompose your shot. More about that in the next two videos. So far, so good. Years ago, I was an inspector at an image agency. You would not believe how many images I had to reject because of focus issues. And that's the reason why I decided we need to include some guidelines on what to focus on in this lesson. If you think you really know what to focus on, move on to the next lesson. But quickly dashing through this doesn't hurt. So here are a few rules. First, if your image has a main subject, focus on that main subject. Now, that may sound logical. But believe me, I have seen things. And if you find out later on your computer that the main subject is out of focus, delete the image. Don't show it to your relatives, don't show it to your friends, and by any means, don't upload it to your Instagram account, Facebook page, or whatever. Obeying to that rule will immediately make you a much better photographer. Even professional photographers don't have every single image in focus. They just know what to publish and what to delete. Rule number two. If your main subject has eyes, focus on the one eye that is closer to the camera. Check this example. Here I focused on the back eye and in this image on the front eye. The front eye is usually the one that draws the attention, so make sure to have it well focused. Rule number three. In group shots, you usually focus on the face of a person that is standing somewhere in the middle. I'm not talking about the middle of your frame, but rather in the middle of the axis that goes through your lens so that the depth of focus will include people standing in front of this person, as well as those standing further back. Rule number four. With landscapes, architecture, and similar wide-angle shots, focus somewhere in the far distance for the moment. We call that focusing to infinity. In a later movie, we will do a more scientific approach with these sorts of shots talking about the so-called hyperfocal distance. But believe me, that is something 99% of photographers will never use. And even less will see a difference on these kinds of shots. Okay, now you know what to focus on. So get out and practice to quickly change your focus point to be ready for the action. Next up is part two of our focus chapter. <music>